we are talking about the life process nutrition and I am sure you have downloaded the notes of this chapter and if not then the link of the website is given in the description of this video. So you can go to the website and download the notes. You will also find the worksheets there for practicing. So nutrition is the life process which we are discussing and we will be talking about nutrition in amoeba. Nutrition in amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism. So how is this unicellular organism obtaining its nourishment? And it is heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So amoeba is an irregular unicellular organism. It has its nucleus. It has other organelle, everything inside the cell, unicellular. And it locomotes by this pseudopodia. We know about this amoeba. Now, how is this amoeba going to take its nourishment? Suppose it comes in contact with the food particle. Say here is this food particle. This is the food particle. And amoeba wants to engulf, eat, because it is holozoic mode of nutrition, which is seen in case of amoeba. So, nutrition is going to be, we will write down the points after we finish the diagrams. So, here you will see that amoeba creates a depression like this and the other part remains as it is. This depression is known as vesicle. Later on, it will form a food vacuum. So, this is a depression, a vesicle and the food particle comes here. So, here is the food particle now. The nucleus of amoeba, the other structures are as it is. So, now this depression becomes deeper. It is like this. Suppose this is the membrane, the food particle comes here and it is pinched in. So, in the next stage, what is going to be visible to us? At this point, this vesicle is completely formed. And this amoeba is still irregular like this. So now you start calling this structure as food vacuole. Food vacuole. And it encloses the food. So here is that food particle. Now this food will be digested inside the cell. So now next step is going to be digestion. So this is amoeba. The food particle is inside. Digestion takes place inside the cell. And digested material will come out into the cell. So what is happening here? Here is digestion. And the digested material is absorbed because this is what is going to give the cell energy. Digestion and absorption. And what happened here? It took the food in. So the process is known as ingestion. These are the steps of the nutrition. So the first food is taken in. It is called ingestion. Then it is digested, absorbed. And whatever is absorbed will be used by the plant. That step is known as assimilation. And assimilation. And now what happens is that amoeba throws away the undigested material. So in the last step, we will see that amoeba throws away. So here you will find that this vesicle opens out like this and the remaining undigested material is thrown out. So this is undigested food. This process, so this is released outside. <clears throat> this process is known as ejection. So in these five steps, amoeba has taken its nourishment. What was the first step? First step was ingestion, that is taking 
in of the food. This process is also known as phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is taking in the food and then digesting it. So the process is known as phagocytosis. Phagocytosis can be of two types. If it is solid food taken in, then we call it phagocytosis. If the liquid food is taken in, then the process is known as pinocytosis or sometimes it is also known as pinocytosis. So you are taking or the cell is taking a solid particle or a liquid particle, but it is taken in. This is step number one. Step number two is digestion. Digestion is breaking down of complex molecules into simpler ones. Breaking down the complex molecules or you can say complex food into simpler forms. This process is digestion and this is done with the help of enzymes, with the help of enzymes. For example, we, also, we have many enzymes. In our saliva also there is an enzyme, like salivary amylase. In our stomach also we produce various enzymes. Similarly, these unicellular organisms also have many enzymes. So after digestion, these simpler molecules can be absorbed. So the next step becomes absorption. Absorption is taking these simple molecules. Taking simple molecules. And what do we do with those simple molecules or what would amoeba do with these simple molecules? It will use it for its growth, reproduction, locomotion. That is called utilization. That is known as assimilation. Assimilation is utilization of absorbed food. The food which has been absorbed has to be used. And the last step, the last step is throwing away that undigested food material. That is known as ingestion. Ingestion is throwing out of undigested material. Throwing out of or we can also call it el elimination, throwing out of undigested food or elimination of undigested material. So this is ingestion. These are the five steps which take place whenever the no mode of nutrition is holozoic. So what type of nutrition do we see in amoeba? In amoeba, it is heterotrophic. Amoeba cannot synthesize its own food. It is taking the food particle. So it is heterotrophic. Then the particle is taken inside the cell, digested inside the cell. That means it is holozoic mode of nutrition and holozoic mode of nutrition there are these five steps so these are called the steps of holozoic nutrition so whenever there is holozoic nutrition in whichever animal the steps are going to be the same five steps so first step becomes ingestion, that is taking in of the food. 
then breaking it down into simpler that is the digestion part then utilization absorption so it is absorbed now in simple organisms like amoeba whatever is absorbed comes into the cytoplasm and here there are different structures which are going to use these things in our case after absorbing it goes into our blood and from the blood it will be taken to all the parts of our body suppose we eat food we are talking about ourselves the multicellular animals so when we eat that is ingestion then we digest in our stomach in our intestine then absorb absorb means it is going into our blood and blood is taking to the muscle to various parts of the body and in the muscles that glucose is used to generate energy and that is when we are able to move our hands we are able to breathe our heart is able to work that is assimilation we are using it and sometimes if there is some extra amount of food that we have so what do we do we store it so these organisms also store it if there is some extra food it gets stored in our body for later use sometimes if we don't get food then what do we do we use that stored food to perform activities because energy is continuously needed and that undigested food is lost from the body so these are the five steps of holozoic nutrition and remember the two terms phagocytosis if solid food is taken pinocytosis if liquid food is taken and when that undigested material is thrown out that process is known as exocytosis exocytosis is throwing out of food so what should these two be called when the food is taken in so these two together can be termed as endocytosis so when something is taken inside the cell endocytosis when something is thrown out of the cell then exocytosis so this is how nutrition in amoeba is completed